hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a high-end foundation review for you but the thing is i don't know which one i'm going to be doing for you because i received a package from Camaretti cosmetics a few weeks ago i sent in a sample of my foundation and they did the color match i'm going to put the exact name of what it is that they do for you but it's a color matching service where you send a sample of your foundation and then they match it up for you with maybe like two or three different foundations it depends on how many you want but the more you buy the cheaper it is so I'm just gonna reach into this little packet and we're gonna choose which foundation we're gonna be doing today all right guys so in the package it comes in this beautiful little package with little hearts on it which is so cute it has a thank you card in it as well and it also came with the um invoice with all the stuff on it and whatever the case may be so i'm just gonna shake it up and i'm hoping i've swatched these already so i'm hoping that i get a really really good match so let's cross our fingers and i've pulled out graftobian in sienna and this one is pretty full some of the other ones aren't so full and this one is definitely a thicker consistency so I'm just gonna pull up some information on the Graftobian um, foundation and we're gonna start from there so this foundation pretty much says that it's a high definition cream foundation that it blends to your touch and it covers impressively in small amounts so it says that a small amount goes a long way which is good with me watch blemishes discolorations capillaries and redness disappear as highly pigmented formula imitates your skin in over 58 shades the soft airbrush like finish is free of light perfecting pigments and photographs like a charm and they suggest that you set it with the graftobian pro setting powder i don't have that so we have a few things here it claims to be skin light it claims to cover up discoloration and it also says that you need to set it with the powder so it never said anything about mattifying properties or anything of the sort what I'm going to do, I'm going to prime my skin with the Sasha Mattifying Face Primer. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be trying this out for the first time. And I'm just going to smooth this over my T-zone really. Because that's where I pretty much get very oily. So I've just primed my face and I'm going to go into this foundation. I'm hoping and see if I can get a little closer to you guys. And that is the color match that I got which is not bad it looks a tad bit dark um, I also have my real technique sponge and I'm going to be using my real technique buffering brush as always this side is going to be sponge this side is going to be the brush it doesn't specify what method that you use but it does say that it blends really nicely so I'm just gonna take my ring finger because this one is close to the top it is very 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 smooth to the touch and I'm just going to dot this all over my face it does look a little bit dark but we're gonna work with it my sponge is already damp and I'm just gonna go and blend this out Alright guys, so this is one layer with the Real Technique sponge. I think it blended out very, very nicely. The color is nice. I like the color. It looks a tad bit ashy to me, like a little bit gray. I don't know if it's just me. When I look in the camera, it doesn't look too bad. In real life, it has a slight grayish cast to it. But otherwise, that is one little layer that I just rub my fingers on top and I just spread it all over my face. and. I can see a little bit of this darkness here where my cheek usually contours but otherwise the spots that I have here are pretty covered up and this is a very thin thin layer and I am actually impressed with the coverage I'm a little concerned about the grayness but we're gonna work with it next I'm just gonna do the other side of my face now and I'm gonna do it with my Real Techniques brush Well, I've just finished this side of my face with my brush and I will say that this coverage on this side is a little bit fuller it's a little bit more full coverage and dense 
while this side is definitely a lot more light and a lot more a lot more blended out so this particular foundation holds true that the sponge is going to give you a sheer coverage while the brush is going to give you something a little bit more thick and a little bit more um, flawless as it would be but both sides for me are pretty good one layer for me this time is perfect I like the color I am a little concerned that it has a slight grayish tint to it however uh, in real life it looks pretty good I like how it looks it it's lightweight I know that there's something on my face um, I've already like I said before mattified my face with the slash primer so I'm interested to see how the oil comes through it definitely is a very skin like texture it doesn't have too much dew on it uh, I'm gonna see how it dries down I'm gonna give this a few minutes but I've already done my eyebrows and my eyelashes and stuff like that so I'm just gonna give it what, five minutes or so to dry down to see where we're at and then I'm gonna just finish up my face I'm gonna come back and I will talk to you guys in a little bit I just want to add as well too that I don't find it settling into the fine lines underneath my eyes however it doesn't minimize the pores or anything that I never said anything about minimizing pores but it does smooth out the skin really nice. I'm just a little concerned about the whitish cast to it. I mean, it looks pretty good. It matches with like my skin. You can see my shoulders today. And it looks pretty good. It looks very, very skin-like. And it's definitely a healthy type of skin finish. Like if you have normal skin or your skin is just, you know, pretty good. I think it looks really nice. Um... I like the color I just I'm hoping that by the time it starts to wear and style it doesn't have that whitish kind of cast to it but I really I like it this looks really good this definitely looks the most like skin over the foundations that I have tried recently and yeah guys I'm I'm impressed so far I'm impressed I'm hoping that it stays this way and yeah I'm looking forward to seeing how this wears throughout the day so I will be checking in with you guys in a little bit. I'm going to the bank and I'm just going to be doing a little walking around. So I'll see y'all guys in a little bit. Hey guys, just a quick checking. It is uh, about 20 past one. Not long after I put on the foundation, less than half an hour. And it is looking pretty good. I do look a little bit glowy, but that is the nature of the foundation. It said that it is a natural skin like finish. It is looking pretty good. Um, even though it is overcast here in Barbados, it is a little bit, um, how would you say, probably like humid. So I am sweating a little bit. I'm definitely sweating a little bit. But otherwise than that, nothing is moving. And, and unlike the other foundation I was using, even though I am sweating, it's not beating up around my nose. So yeah, that is something to say. But so far, I'm very, very happy. So I'll check in with you guys in the next few hours. Hey guys welcome back i'm checking in now and it is now a quarter to four in the afternoon i've had this foundation on for about three hours i asked my boyfriend what he thought about it he said it looks bright i asked him if he made it look shiny he said yeah it look a little shiny i was like anyhow so i think for what it is today is very very humid even though um it's overcast and it's not sunny <sighs> i love how this foundation looks like to me if I inserted some of my clips from when I was vlogging today it looks so nice against my skin tone like everything all I have on is a little bit of bronzer to match it back on my skin and a little bit of blush and that's it a little bit of um translucent satin powder and that's it so all I'm going to do now if I can find a piece of tissue I'm just going to blot and take off some of this excess shine but otherwise this is the foundation after about three hours i have been sweating well about two hours Ooh, can you see that though a good side of it come off and it had on translucent powder so this is definitely just the foundation But I don't feel as though it settles into my fine lines under my eyes. My pores are there. They don't settle into them. They don't um, enlarge them or they don't make them too visible. The texture on my face, it kind of just glides over the texture on my face. It's pretty much it blotted. It still has that very natural looking shine to it. 
well, I shouldn't say a shine, a natural look to it. It looks like skin. It just glides over the skin so nicely. It doesn't, to me, emphasize the texture of my skin. The texture of my skin is there. It doesn't minimize it. It just really covers it very nicely and looking very skin-like. It doesn't feel heavy on the face. It's not settling into the fine lines around my mouth, but I have been eating, so that could be it. But it's not settling into the fine lines and making them more pronounced. It's just kind of there. So yeah, guys, that's my second check-in. I'm going to the gym this evening. All right, my intention is to go to the gym this evening, so I'll try my best to check in before I go or after I come back. I'll see. Hey guys, I'm doing my last check-in. I'm so sorry that it's so late. It is actually 5.47 in the afternoon. Right outside the gym. I'm going to take one of the classes. No, I think it's Pilates or something. Whatever. Um, pretty much, this is the foundation. I have blotted once for the day. I did that on camera. I think that was around quarter to four. And um, pretty much, yeah, this is what the foundation looks like. I don't find myself to be overly oily. I still have oil on my skin and stuff like that. But it's not bad. I really like the finish. I'm so sorry that the light isn't better. Let me see if I could turn it. But this is pretty much what the foundation looks like. Along my jawline, especially where it was hitting my clothes and stuff like that. Excuse me. You will see where the foundation will start to break up. And that's pretty obvious. One thing I will tell you about this. This transfers even faster than anything else. I don't think you'll be able to see that. But this transfers really 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 quickly and pretty much i don't think you can see that but definitely setting it with a translucent setting powder will help however it is going to transfer on its own using a setting spray would definitely be a very good thing probably like all nighter or maybe like cinema secrets or one of those guys that have one of those ones that like really set the makeup with this so it doesn't go anywhere but otherwise i really love the finish of this guys i'm very impressed with this this is something that i would buy the full size of if you remember i had gotten it in a little bit of a sample but yeah guys i am really enjoying this foundation if i've forgotten anything i'm actually gonna just list it here or down below if you guys enjoyed this review just leave your comments down below give me a thumbs up i really appreciate that and i will see you in my next one